Steve Nash might have a huge house in Brooklyn now, but how did he get here? More lifestyle, career, and personal life coming up on Big Time Hoops. Steve Nash was born in Johannesburg, South Africa when Gene and John Nash welcomed a bouncing baby boy on February 7, 1974. Having a professional soccer player as a dad, Nash's first love was soccer and ice hockey, which he played with his brother, Martin. Steve started playing basketball at around 12 years of age, and he modeled his game after competitive guards like Isaiah Thomas, Michael Jordan, and Magic Johnson. If you didn't know, Nash has a medical condition called spondylolisthesis, which gives him muscle tightness and back pain. Because of this, you could catch him a lot lying on his back on the sidelines when he's not in the game. NBA career. Nash got a scholarship to Santa Clara University where he led the Broncos to their first NCAA tournament in five years and he became the all-time leader in assists, free throws, and three-pointers made. His jersey was also retired, becoming the first player to receive this honor. Talk about legacy. Steve graduated with a degree in sociology and then entered the draft. He was selected 15th overall by the Phoenix Suns. He's also been with the Mavericks and Lakers. Over his stellar 18-year career, he averaged 14.3 points, 8.5 assists, and 3 rebounds. He was an 8-time All-Star and 2-time MVP. As one of the best shooters ever, Nash joins the ranks of Larry Bird, Reggie Miller, and Mark Price in the 50-40-90 club. 50% from the field, 40 from downtown, and 90% from the free throw line. He is top 10 all-time in assists, three-point, and free throw percentage. Nash goes down as one of the greatest 75 players ever, but also has the unwanted label of being one of the greatest players in NBA history never to win a ring. ESPN named Nash as the ninth greatest point guard of all time. Talk about stacking those numbers. Coaching. In 2015, Nash became a part-time consultant for the Warriors, where he was part of the team with the highest win percentage in NBA history with 73 wins. He was on the staff when Golden State took the crown the year after, so he did get a ring after all. In 2020, he became a first-time head coach for the Brooklyn Nets. Now he gets to coach KD, Kyrie, and Ben Simmons. Let's see how that works out. Now we know a little about Steve's b-ball career, let's see how he makes that cheddar. Contract After being drafted by the Suns, Nash signed a three-year, $3 million contract before he got traded to the Mavericks after two years. The Mavs signed him to a six-year, $28 million rookie scale extension. He terminated that deal to rejoin the Suns. He also signed a five-year, $65 million and two-year, $22 million contract, respectively. His last contract was part of a sign-in trade with the Lakers at three years and $28 million. Over his entire career, Steve Nash made over $140 million in salary alone. Talk about balling out of control. Endorsements After signing a multi-year deal with Nike, Nash spent 15 years with the company where he endorsed various classics such as the Zoom Jet Flight and the Zoom Drive. They did have some pretty cool commercials, however, he never got a signature shoe. So after Nike, he switched to Chinese brand Liu, and he did get his signature sneaker when they released the Steve Nash One. Steve is also an ambassador with Wolf & Shepard. They make dress shoes, but with athletic innovations to combine luxury and comfort. These ones look oh so clean. Nash is a very marketable dude and has some other endorsements with MDG Computers, Raymond Well Watches, Vitamin Water, and Clearly Canadian Bottled Water. So with all that, Steve Nash has a net worth of... Wait, later on that. For all the best basketball lifestyle content, remember to subscribe to Big Time Hoops. Nash has got that dough, baby. Let's see how he spends that moolah. Houses. Big Baller Nash owns a mansion in Paradise Valley, Arizona. This marvelous piece of art is over 6,500 square feet. It features five bedrooms, a guest house, pool, four car garage, and a wine cellar. He later sold this gorgeous estate for 3.2 million. He also owns an amazing 20 foot wide brick mansion in Brooklyn with 4,200 square feet of space. This crib features five bedrooms and four and a half bathrooms and is decked out in clean earth tones and is anchored by a custom curved plaster staircase. 
Anyways, Nash dropped a cool five million for this beauty. Charity. Nash has become a fan favorite not only by his good looks, but through his impact on society. He founded the Steve Nash Foundation in 2001 with the aim of assisting underserved children in their health, personal development, education, and enjoyment of life. He also founded the memorable Jim Jennings Memorial Endowment Fund. It was established in honor of a volunteer staff member at Santa Clara University who served the basketball team for more than 20 years. He also sponsors the Steve Nash Basketball League in British Columbia and is involved with Gulu Walk. It's a nonprofit aimed at raising awareness and funds for war-affected children in northern Uganda. Because of his large heart, Nash has won numerous accolades such as the Walter Kennedy Citizenship Award, an honorary doctorate from the University of Victoria. Talk about dropping assists to the community. Businesses. Nash is all about fitness and having a six-pack to be proud of. That's why he partnered with 24-hour fitness owner Leonard Schlem to open a sports club called Vancouver Whitecaps. There were also 13 Steve Nash Fitness World Clubs in British Columbia. After a few years, Steve wanted out and he tried to get his name removed from the gyms. During the pandemic, the chain did file for bankruptcy. It did get repurchased and will relaunch without using the Steve Nash name. He's also partnered with his cousin Ezra Holland to own a film production company. They came out with a film called Into the Wind. Nash is also the co-founder of Consigliere Brand Capital LLC. It's involved in investing in sports as well as tech startups. My guy Steve Nash might just be the next big business mogul. Love Life Nash met his heartbeat Alejandra Amaria in Manhattan. The two lovebirds tied the knot in June of 2005. At first, they seemed like a match made in heaven. The two are proud parents of three kids, two daughters and a son. That said, the lovebirds divorced after being together for over five years. Nash later met former volleyball player Leela Frederick. She is a fitness freak who is a foodie and enjoys traveling. Steve actually proposed to her in Spain just after four days of dating. They did tie the knot in September of 2016 and the lovely couple are blessed with two kids, a son Luca and a daughter Ruby. The couple is still going strong and you can see a lot of cool family pics on her Instagram. What a beautiful family. Real quick, we wanted to give a shout out to Nick Abanez. Appreciate you and supporting us. Remember, if you engage with us in the comments or community posts, you'll be eligible for a shout out. Let's go. Net worth. Now is the time you've all been waiting for. How much is Steve Nash worth? With everything going on in his businesses, he has a net worth of 95 million. Talk about dropping dimes.